Okay, so I'm going to start with the module learning now, so part two, and then you've got the LED. All right, lesson one, you'll learn how to change the brightness, change the brightness of an LED by using different values of resistors. Okay, so basically we're just going to adjust the current going through to an LED by increasing the resistance. So start with a 220 ohm resistor, then a 1K one, then a 10K one, or the other way around, whatever. Mail to my jumper wires. Okay. Cool. Okay, so let's pull out the the breadboard stuff and then we'll set it up. I've got it all here. So I need to get some resistors out and then just need these LEDs. Jump all cables. Use these ones. Um, and then there's some other stuff in the box. This is the breadboard. Tiny breadboard. Yeah. Anyways. And we got a CD, but we don't need that because we've already installed everything. So, cool. Okay. All right. Let's uh, get started and build this circuit. So, okay. So, it wants me to use a red LED. So, let's get one of those out. All right. So, we've got a red LED. Let's get a 220 ohm resistor. Yeah, so I'm just reading the instructions here. It says, you cannot directly connect an LED to a battery or voltage source because the LED has a positive and negative lead uh, and will not light if placed the wrong way. Uh, okay, if you do not use a resistor, it may be, well be destroyed. The resistor, so basically this is quite good. This, this is a, a little course here. It'd be good for someone if you had no experience, but if you've used this stuff, then you know how to use it, so it's fine. Okay, so connection schematic, five volts, ground, so here's the schematic, not really important, but five volt pin to a 220 ohm resistor to the LED and then back to ground. All right, so let's first find my five volt pin. So you've got five volt there and then it seems like you have the same on the other side. No. Okay, so you've got ground there. So, is there ground on this side as well? Okay, so the 5 volt and the ground are just together there. So, it should be fairly simple. I'll plug this into my computer. Okay. Alright, so let's get a cable out. So, there's generally, like, my lecturer would always advise us to use, you know, the correct colour scheme. So, you can use, for example, red for power and then black for ground. Okay, and then let me get out the resistors. So, these are fairly simple to read. It literally just says... 220 on the bottom there and so all of the ones that are connected together like that these are all 220 so we'll keep that there and then I think you wanted 1k and 10k so you got 330 100 5.1k you got one mega ohm resistor 10 ohm resistor then 1k so let's put this aside and you got 10k all right so that's it so We've got our LED, we've got our different resistors, so let's just connect it together now. So we can just do our five volt pin. Yeah, this cable, okay. Probably best thing to do is start off like that first. Okay, so five volt. And then ground. So we've got a five volt ground and then we just connect it positive and negative and then we're supposed to start with our 220 ohm resistor so just pop that out like that so connect this so we only put the resistor first so so it doesn't really matter where you connect it and you can just put LED and get that into the ground, but there you go. So we've got our five volt rail coming in and powering this rail along here, and then the resistor picks up the current and then brings it, you know, across the resistor and then down into this row number nineteen here. So let's plug in our Arduino. 
So that powered the resistor straight away. The Uno is convenient source of 5 volts which we will use to provide power to the LED and the resistor. You don't need to do anything with your Uno except to plug it into the USB cable. With the 220 ohm resistor in place, the LED should be quite bright. Is it quite bright? Let me turn off my lights. Oh yeah, it's decent. Yeah, that's a decent brightness. Okay, I'll leave it like this. Bit uh, dark, but at least you can see it. Okay, so continue with the instructions. If you swap out the 220 ohm resistor for the 1K resistor, then the LED will appear a little dimmer. I don't know how you're really supposed to, you're just gonna, it, the better way to test that. All right, so it wants me to swap out the LED or the resistor, the 220 ohm resistor for a 1K resistor, but instead, I'm just gonna set up the resistors side by side with their own LEDs such that you can see the difference in brightness. Okay, so that's one resistor in, which is a 1K one, and then put a 10K one in. If you're not used to dealing with electricity, I mean, don't don't be concerned. At these um, at this voltage, you know, you're not gonna get shocked or anything. So, do whatever you want. It's not gonna. You're not gonna have any. There's, there's nothing dangerous, basically. Okay, there. So we've got 220 ohm, one. K ohm and 10k ohm so now let's get if you're going to do this make sure you do it with the same color leds because they will shine at different brightnesses i mean this i assume this is a given but it might not be for the leds obviously you've got the positive end as the longer point and then negative end as the shorter point so you just want to make sure that you're connecting positive to the resistor and then negative to ground. Okay, so split them like that and then positive into negative. All right, so that one's in. It's actually quite hard to get this breadboard. It's a bit difficult to get things into it. All right, so you can see ob the obvious difference between these two. Yeah, I suppose you can see that there are different brightnesses. So this one's on, in case you can't see, it is still on. So you've got 220 ohm, 1K ohm, and 10K ohm, and they're all on. Let's just turn off the lights so you can see the difference. There you go, so you can see how bright they all are. There's an obvious difference, right? So this isn't really like a Arduino tutorial because there's no programming involved in the Arduino so so then let's move on to lesson two so that's the end of lesson one